Welcome to I See the Light. I'm Prophetess Regina. I'm the light and I'm back with another one. God bless. God bless. Today is November the 24th on this beautiful Friday around, I say, what time is it? To be exact, 327. Beautiful day. So, of course, I'm at the park, <laughs> and I'm here to do my message, so I didn't do one yesterday. I hope everybody had a beautiful Thanksgiving and got to enjoy family and just enjoy a day off of work. I see people really so happy when they get a day or two, extra two or three days off. God bless y'all, because I don't understand that world myself. But it's beautiful that people are so happy to get one or two days off. I guess people do work hard for their dollars and to, to have, you know, certain type of lifestyles and stuff. Y'all work really hard, and so y'all really are so fascinated and so happy with the day or two off. So I'm glad that everybody got to get some rest. Anyway, um, I had a good day. That's all I'm going to say about it. I'm not going to say much more than that. I'm here to um, deliver a message for today. I actually was going to do one yesterday, but, you know, I took a day off. <laughs> so I have the message for yet from yesterday that um God led me near. Uh he he um he put the word allure. The Holy Spirit gave me the word allure yesterday morning and I based that on my sermon or my message uh that I was going to speak on yesterday which I will do today. But before I get started, I want to go ahead and start off with a prayer. This is my second time doing this video, so I'm going to say the same prayer that I turned to the first time. And at this time, I would ask you please to respect the Lord and God bless. And thank you very much. Father, by the fire of heaven, consume every evil altar that stands in the middle of the vill village as a tree. In the name of Jesus. Father, by the blood of Jesus, I quench the thirst of every blood altar in my household. In the name of Jesus. Father, cut off every unbiblical cord of evil altars and attachments of all kinds of darkness sent to the land and the God children in the name of Jesus. I come against every satanic altar around my environment with the raft of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And amen. Knock down a couple of evil altars. Yeah. It's so many. Just kick them down, Lord Jesus. I'm gonna, hey, employ me to knock them all down, Jesus. I take, I dedicate the rest of my life to knocking down evil altars. That's for sure. But on a good note, hi Bay. Hi, handsome and handsome town. I love Bay. Love your haircuts, Bay. They look beautiful. You're so talented. I love Bay. So, 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 so Bay. Is cream de la creme like he is? I'm gonna flirt with Bay a little bit because <laughs> I don't mind. I'm gonna flirt, 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 flirt. Go, Bay boy, he does a, he does something to me. I love Bay, so special. You're so awesome, Bay. God bless you. I hope you had a, a beautiful day, Lord Jesus. Please, I keep asking these prayers. God, I cried out to you, Lord. Oh, Bay, my life's so bad, Bay. Please, Lord, don't let me be sitting in the same situation this time next year. I thought I'd been with Bay by now. I did. I'm oh, Bay. Shoot. Anyway, I had to get the temper tantrum out. Burn down all these altars so I can get to Bay. I want Bay. Oh, y'all don't understand. I thought that I want Bay. Anyway, today, uh, I was sent to the word of Lord, right? And before I get started with that, I want to say something because I'm looking real stupid. So the other last video I posted that I had, I had, um, um, deleted my other video, right? 
and I go and I look on this morning and I notice my video loaded. So I had loaded up two videos, same outfit, because what happened was the day I did the video, I was in good spirits. It was about the raft of um No, it was about the kid the kiss of Judas, right? So that was the video that I thought I deleted, but I looked I looked and it was on there. I didn't I think I was uploading it and when I got that bad news it just made my mood change and I said I deleted it, right? But it loaded it anyway, just like it did that blue light video that I deleted. So I know now if I start loading a video, don't ever try to delete it. Or make sure when I put it on there, I want it on there. Because they 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 doing me something something every they know I to try to delete that I push delete and it said it was deleted I looked up it was on there so anyway it doesn't matter I mean whatever I was talking about was legit it was coming from the Bible but anyway I want to I want to come to you with the word allure so Holy Spirit said allure to me yesterday morning and so i looked at uh, uh looked up allure so that's the basis of how i started um how i got my message today because i i like to sometimes explain to y'all or uh, most of the times i try to explain to y'all how i get these messages so the the definition for allure is to attract or to um tempt by something flattering or desirable to fascinate charm entice okay and it says what does the Bible say about the word allure? So in Ho in Hosea, okay, uh, two and fourteen, it says, "Therefore, I am not going to uh, to allure her. I will lead her into the wilderness and tenderly to her." So, um. I want to start off with Hosea 2. That is my basis. That's that's where Allure led me to. So it states, God speaks about Israel in Hosea 2. And let's go. It says, you are to call your brothers my people and your sisters you have been shown pity. Plead with your mother. Accuse her. Because she is no longer my wife. I am no longer her husband. Tell her to stop acting like a prostitute. Stop behaving like an unfaithful wife. If she refuses, I will stop her naked and leave her bare like the day she was born. I will make her dry like a desert, like a land without water, and I will kill her with thirst. I will not take pity on her children because they are the children of prostitutes. Their mother has a, acted like a prostitute. The one who became pregnant with another with them has acted disgracefully. She said, I will chase after my lovers who give me my food and water, wool and flax, wine and olive oil. I will block her road with thorn bushes. I will build a wall around her so that she cannot find her way. She will run after her lovers, but she won't catch them. She will look for them. Then she will say, I will go back to my first husband because life was better than better then for me than it is now. Eight.
but she does not know that I was the one who gave her grain, new wine, and oil. I gave her much silver and gold, but she used it for Babla, ba, Balal, Baal, B-A-A-L, Balal, false gods or idols. Mm -hmm. So I will come back and take away my grain at harvest time and my new wine when it's, it, is, it is ready when it is ready i will take back my wool and linen that covered her nakedness 10 so i will show her nakedness to her lovers and no one will save her from me 11 i will put an end to all celebrations her yearly festivals her new moon festivals and her sabbath i will stop all her special feast i will destroy her vines and her fig trees which she said were her pay from her lovers i will turn them into a forest and will wild animals will eat them I will punish her for all the time she burned incense in the bows, blows. She put on her rings and jewelry and went chasing after her lovers, but she forgot me, says the Lord. And that is the message that I read, I ran to because of Allure. There is more, I will, um, get to speak on but let me go ahead and break this down so it says the relationship between Yahweh and Israel is depicted as one of a husband and a wife Israel has been unfaithful to her husband has gone um, a whoring or after her lovers the idols of Babels or Balaos B-A-A-L-S from whom she hopes to obtain grain wine oil and other products without realizing that those actually come from Yahweh. She had a husband that provided for her, but she was unhappy and she was not pleased. So she had a Jezebel spirit upon her. She was out whoring. Out whoring and God's going to take everything and strip it from her because she did not appreciate or did not understand that what she was looking for and going out to do devilish things to get get these things god was going to provide it for her without her having to do those type of things so yesterday morning when i was at the park i had to break this car down and um i gotta do a bunch of laundry because something must have leaked on my clothes it's got an odor in here i had to break everything down again today now all the clothes that were clean got to be rewashed because i guess when i brought the food and put it in the car long story short something leaked on it it's got some stuff kind of tart so i was um what was i talking about oh i was cleaning out the car yesterday so that's what i'm saying it wasn't the smell wasn't there but it was something wet on my clothes so i feel feel like that's what it is now they're dry and i smell older well anyway I think it might have been that turkey I had. Anyway, so um, I'm, I'm cleaning out my car. It's early in the morning. The sun hasn't come up yet. Y'all know how I do it. It's probably around, uh, I'll say about 7, 6.30, 7 in the morning. The sun hasn't really come up yet. It's about to, but it hadn't. I'm in my space. I'm doing my thing. I'm enjoying my peace. And I'm in a spot where I don't figure it out. It's just a prostitute thing over there. And they, I guess they think I'm a prostitute. I haven't noticed any activities when I'm sitting there. But for some reason, they think that I'm a prostitute. And here we're talking about a prostitute. So I think that whatever spirit has been lingering around me has kind of rubbed, maybe rubbed off on me or something like that. Because people think I'm not nobody's prostitute. And never have been and never thought about being one. If anything, Prophetess Regina one time in her life wanted to do do a little pimping for some money. But no, I would never. And I'm not going to do nothing like that now. So, um, 
I'm sitting in a big parking lot, open. Same guy tried to pick me up the last time when I realized, oh, they're looking for prostitutes over here. Older white guy, elderly white guy, pulls up beside me, backs in, and so he can still see in my car and just waiting for a signal from me. He's probably like two cars, maybe two cars over from me. Ticks me off when they do that. I'm so offended by it. Because I'm in my personal space. I'm over here. You don't realize I'm over here with tons of clothes in my car. Digging through stuff. Just trying to find what I'm going to put on. To be comfortable on the day or whatever. Cleaning up and everything. And here he comes looking for. Trying to trying to solicit somebody. So once I finally got everything in order like I wanted to. I drove off and left him sitting over there by himself. And went to the other side of the park. We're talking about prostitutes. Is somebody, Lord, Lord is trying to show me something. Lord is, um, is bringing in, we've been having a lot of stuff coming about prostitutes here lately. I don't know. Somebody's a prostitute. Somebody used to be a prostitute. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. Go, let's go ahead and get some. Man, I can't believe you went in that bathroom, man. You went in there and did something too. Ooh, that's nasty. Go ahead. And dig in in the, in the spirit box and see what's going on today. Now, this is what's going to happen. But I'm going to come back to the same chapter and read the rest of it. On, on the, um, the rest of the chapter. It says, happy ever after. Bay. I seen you say something about a wife. It was like, happy Thanksgiving to my future wife. Ugh. Bae. Happy ever after, bae. I love some bae. Bae. We gonna wear matching um, jean jacket short sets on next Thanksgiving. <laughs> Not short sets. We gonna wear jean jacket. Jean jackets and jeans and stuff on Thanksgiving. We gonna be dressed in jeans. Looking cute. Because we love each other. <laughs> love Bay Boy. Bay gonna have on his red, red t-shirt, red shirt. And I'm gonna have on my turquoise one. Ain't that it, Bay? Love some Bay Boy. <laughs> yeah. I have Luke here, 6 and 27 and 28. And it says, but to you who are listening, I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Um, pray for those who mistreat you. Amen. Let's keep going. We got spiritual person energy in the house. Thank you. Hi, spiritual people. Now, some of y'all don't celebrate Thanksgiving at all. I'm, I'm not surrounded to be the last Thanksgiving I do. The food came out all right, but I'm telling you, I just don't really care for no more of it. Dang, these people be you, ooh, ooh, in this porta party. It's men, men going there big time. Boy, ooh, I can't do it. That's, the, that's about the fourth. That's about the third person that I've seen go in there since I've been sitting here. Let's see. Y'all know I don't like no porta potties. Let's see. Closed mouths don't get fed. <laughs> you sure don't. Y'all can't get fed. Y'all didn't get fed. If y'all don't open your mouth up yesterday, it says speak up for what you want. Now, in a certain situation, somebody needs something so very badly of someone and they don't even have enough um, courage to ask for help. But the answer is no anyway. But see, the way you went about it just made it worse. Um, you done pushed everybody. Somebody done burnt their bridges. So in the last video, I was talking about <coughs> burning bridges. Or did I say it in this video? When I say burn the bridge, are you the person that builds the bridge, the person that lives under the bridge, the person that's jumping off the bridge, or the person that burns the bridge? If you burn the bridge, then I surely can tell you burning bridges won't get you visitors. Because they have no way to get across to get to you once you burn the bridge. If you burn a bridge with people and you still expect them to cahoot and, or, uh, you know, come around or deal with you. And it's happened over and over again. I've done it. I've done it. I'm so guilty of uh, letting people mistreat me and continuing to be in their, in their um, 
and um, good grace with them or continuing to uh, deal with them after they've hurt me over and umpteen times again. Someone has burned a bridge that cannot be mended. That's so sad. But the good thing about it is when you walk in the spirit and people do you that way and they burn those bridges, you just know that you are such a good person. They're going to miss your, your presence. And that's what they forgot. They always thought you would be there because you said you, you, you allowed it so many times. You let it go so many times. And this time, this is the season. This is the season of detachment. This is the season of letting go of people that just no longer deserve your energy or your love or your time. And it doesn't, that doesn't mean we're bad people. It just means we're clearing out space for the good people, for the good things to move good things in that area. Let's keep going. Compassion. You demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love. If you one put a lock on the border party, if one more person go in there, boy, y'all be staying in there a long time too. You just you see how long you stayed in there. What did they be doing? They be in there putting on the powder in their noses or something. Um, disintegrate, disintegrate, break up into small plants. No, small parts decay, waste away, disintegrate. Something. There's an energy of disintegrate. Something is breaking down. Something is decaying. Something is wasting away. What else, spirit? We got that moon card here. Illusions, shadow, darkness, uh, secrets, magic, uh, Maybe somebody doing some magic magic on someone. We re, we rebuke all of it in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is, if it's shiesty, we don't we rebuke it all. That's the way it is. I'm about sick of it right now. Oh, uh, somebody is nosy and messy. Here goes that nosy messy card, boy. But it, look, look. So I seen one of my old clients yesterday morning. They had on green. I do believe they watched my videos. They were dismissed right when I started. Right when I started my first um, video of speaking on God. That's when Holy Spirit told me to dismiss them and get them out of my life because they were messy. And they didn't mean me any good. I seen them yesterday. Matter of fact, I seen them twice. They didn't see me once. And they had on a green shirt. I said, oh, maybe I'll touch their soul a little bit. Maybe they slowed down and stopped being such a hoochie mama. <laughs> I saw you with your green shirt on yesterday. Early, early in the morning. I saw you two times. I have 222 two, two here. Portal to be fresh. The fresh beginnings to take a new challenge. Uh-huh. Oh, or a professional life. I would like to have a professional life. I want to have it with Bay too. Hey, hey, Bay. Woo wee! I'm gonna be standing next to boss man making boss moves. Bay is the box. It's like I love Bay, boy. Bay's sexy. I say that then, and then that makes other women want to go see and look at Bay and get stay leave a Bay alone. I'm not trying to be rude, no. I'm really trying to be a nicer person. Bay, I'm nice. Bay knows I'm nice. I just, I just want to protect Bay. That's all. What else, spirit? I love my knight in shining armor. <laughs> love my knight. What is this? And it says missing or child abuse line here. Remember I said someone like to mess with kids. Somebody like little boys. If there's anything that anybody is suspecting that's going on in somebody's household or you just have some kind of information you like to share, I think you can remain, remain anonymous, but it's 1-800-843-5678. Mm -hmm. Just look it up. Say missing child abuse align. Google. Bam. Just that easy. 
um you don't 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 make false reports people make false reports sometimes just because they're mad because somebody's doing better than them or they're mad because some they somebody didn't treat them right or they're mad because their um their ex now has a new wife or a new woman or a new baby on the way with somebody else and they went on about their life and they got those vicious dirty mis mischievous women out there that do that kind of stuff try to accuse men of doing stuff that they haven't done because they want to hurt them that's because you haven't been healed from something that happened in your past or you're mad and bitter and jealous and jealous and stuff and that's how that happens and then that's why the child sometimes don't get to see their father because the mama's messed up so i'm not going to say it's all the mama's fault but stuff like that happens so much it happens so often because I hear the stories of the dads that try, and they're like, man, my baby mama be tripping. And then some of them be lying because them baby mamas don't be tripping. They just be wanting some help. We got a new door here about to open. Can't wait for that baby to open up. It's going to be, I'm going to run through that so fast I'm going to fall down like in a horror movie. I'm going to run. Are you going to hear me? I'm going to be running so fast and moving so slow. But I'm going to be running so, um, in my mind, I'm going to be running fast. But my body's going to be barely moving at all. But you're going to hear the bottom of my feet flat foot running. I'm going to be flat foot running in that new door. Especially bays in there. And I might push a couple of people out the way to get there. Because I'm not playing when it comes to getting where I want to be. <laughs> I'm a leader. And I'm all going to stop here. The truth shall set someone free. Amen. I'm trying to tell you that somebody here, somebody need to dress up. Maybe not to me. And God already knows. And if you're doing some real creeping and for some change and you feel it a little guilty, you thought you was gonna take it to your grave. Um I don't care how old you are. If you're 22 right now and you've been doing a little something on a little something strange, a little little selling a little 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 pieces. God sees. You better clean that up and go to God and repent in the name of Jesus. What else? That's an evil altar. That's an evil altar. That's evilness. What else, spirit? Whoever it is, she's an empress, fool. Don't try her. Sure don't try me. Hey, you don't want none. I'm not. Um, I think my comments are still locked up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know. I was thinking when I had my happiness page, my happiness within page, and I was trying to do inspirational stuff on there, but I was at that point trying to struggle with the God part of it because I knew something was up with Jesus, this Jesus thing. But then I just realized, okay, I always thought, you know, you, you grew up looking at the white Jesus on the pictures, but and we know that's not true. And we know now that we done went through so much of this bible that we know that a lot of things just not been kind of been twisted around to, to suit a very suit a particular race so anyway i forgot my point but i think i did i really forgot my point <laughs> oh my point oh yeah forget let me keep going Ooh, we got a long one here. It says, <laughs> I release all sadness and embrace the inner peace. I am in control. I choose to remain positive. I associate with uplifting positive people. I trust the pro progress or the process of God. I am worthy of love and all the good things that comes my way and i am the master of my emotions and i choose peace and joy i thank god constantly for all that he provides i am smart noble and wise in the name of jesus amen yes we are my people my people something else my sophisticated charm yeah yeah for real real look you don't need to know other people's business i that's half of the time that people don't even get on. They ain't getting on here because they want to hear about the word of the Lord. They getting on here to get to find out what what happened with her lately. 
she wasn't around yesterday. Some bad mother can't girl. Let me see what she do. What happened, girl? Did she say what happened? Why she wasn't there yesterday? None of your damn business. Why I wasn't? I was off just like you was. You 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 rotten souls. In a nice way, though, Lord Jesus. In a nice way. What else, spirit? I like pumpkin pie. Okay. Yeah, I said I like pumpkin pie. I didn't have none, but I like it. You want soap? What? So, you, oh, oh, she shouldn't like pumpkin pie. Okay. Return to sender. All of that. All of that. Back to y'all. Negative. I'm positive over here. I'm positively sure I like pumpkin pie. I'm positively sure you need to stay out of my business and all up in my mouth. I'm positively sure y'all some of y'all is messy. I said. They, they got awards, Lord Jesus, for messiness. They come up with different tactics to be messy. What else? I agree. Um, This is a, a it's talking about a spiritual connection here. When two people can um, sense or communicate with spirit together, you feel uh, motivated, energized, um, inspired, creative, and when you are with them they bring out the best in you i know who bring out the you bring out the best in me a little bay bay brings out the best in me Woohoo! i'll be like hey oh, you in trouble in a good way boy well, i'll get my hands on you bay we like jesus bay knows door knows god is laughing god said whoo whoo I done gave him somebody to handle him. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be a handler, babe. Mm -mm. No, not a bad way. Not a bad way at all. <laughs> I'm just gonna be fun. I'm gonna be a big, big load of fun for babe. What else, spirit? Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Gang stalking. Yeah. Somebody's gang stalking. Um, they're mirroring Satan. Somebody gave me one. Of, let me tell you what happened. So, I was snoring last night in the son's house. He woke me up because my mom. Okay, I said I'm sorry. Every time if he said my name, I know what it was. I was like, I did it again. He's like, Yeah. I said I'm sorry. So I had to wait for him to go to sleep before I could go to sleep. So that way, and well, and when he fall asleep, then I could snore. But he couldn't fall asleep until I stopped snoring. So anyway. So I, rec I, um, I repositioned myself, waited him out, and I noticed he was in the deep sleep, then I went to sleep. But anyway, so while I was sleeping, I heard my name. Someone said, Regina. And I said, and I thought it was my son, but he doesn't call me Regina. He calls me Mama. So, I, But I thought it was him because he had woke me up twice and told me I was snoring. So when he said Regina, I said yes. And then when I said yes out loud, I was awake by that time. Because I thought he said my name. So I woke up to, and I said, yes. And he said, huh? And I, and I didn't say nothing. And I looked down on, my, on the bed. I had my phone charger, uh, my phone charging up. And I see my phone was lit up. And I'm like, why is my phone lit up? And uh, I see I had a missed call. Another private missed call in the middle of the night. At 1 o'clock in the morning. Bay, is it you? I don't think Bay would do that. I don't think Bay would call me like that. Because it's been it's been other people. But I assume whomever it is, because it was uh, the holiday night, they, they want to just put a little something in my... Like, if I would have been laid up with Bay, then they would have called and like, tried to disturb something. It, well, for one thing, I wasn't going to be laid up with Bay because divine beings, we don't do all that. I'm waiting to get married so I can be with Bay every day. And, and love him the correct way because he der deserves all that but what i'm gonna do before before that even happened i'm gonna just change my number and so you better enjoy <laughs> whoever this is that keep on calling me in the middle of the night thinking they doing something can't get enough just want to be a little vicious a little a little mischievous go ahead get it out of you because one day you're gonna call it's gonna be like doo -doo -doo. this is no longer in service and only and all you can do is just be mad about it. What else, spirit? Gang stalking. Mm. 
beautiful eyes. And it says, I was, it, it wasn't you, it was me. I know. <laughs> you ain't gonna tell me. I'm trying to tell you. It was you, it wasn't me. It wasn't me, it wasn't me. I'm just playing. Some of the stuff, I might have had something to do with it. But look, I'm not even on you no more. Somebody's a king of wands here, but we have him in reverse. So, yeah, we have him in reverse. And I'm going to say him in reverse. In reverse, he's abusing. He abuses his power. He's a bully. It's somebody. I don't believe it's Bay. I think they watch Bay as much as they watch me. And probably upset what what they see when Bay says something. Um, Stay out of my, get away from me. Who are these people? Who are these people? And then what's so funny is, like I said, excuse me, that number that they got of mine, that's why I said it's somebody I know because this is a private number. Um, and then I have the number that I have on the on the page is a old, really old number. So people probably call that number all the time, and I feel sorry for whoever got that number now. They're like, this is not Prophetess Regina's phone number. No, this is not Prophetess Regina. <laughs> y'all calling the wrong number and the ones that's calling this number in the middle of the night what is your issues with me go away satan divine love manifesting one's life partner to rejoice and share life with and talk to someone who can depend who you can depend on and you will see the divine in your partner and you will have in in your the divine that you have in yourself your lifelong companionship true love between two people is a gift from god and i love my gift oh god when god wraps it i'll tell you when god wraps it woohoo he put a big pretty bow on it and everything and then I'm, it's just like I'm like a little kid on Christmas. I cannot wait. I'm like sitting on a big package sitting over there waiting, man. I see it. I'm like, can I open it yet? And God said, no, it's not time. I said, I can't open it yet, Lord. He said, I'll tell you when. Stop asking. Is it today, Lord? Is it today? I'm not trying to be too anxious. I'm just a little, I'm just a little fascinated, a little, a little excited. Is that one mine? That one's yours. But it's not, it's not time yet, Lord. No, it's just not time. When it will, it's going to be soon. It's going to be soon in the name of Jesus. What else, spirit? Alchemist. We turn that bad into good in the name of Jesus as we do. I want to bring back belts on men. With their shirts tucked in. I don't want to see no more no more underwears hanging out your britches. Yeah, I wanna bring back I wanna bring back mature men that wear their shirts tucked in their jeans with their belt on. You might wear slacks and loafers. That's what I would like. I like to see the men with slacks and slacks, loafers and a nice sweater or something. Uh huh. An affectionate an affectionate lover. Of a lifetime. Bay, see? That's Bay. Don't let me love you down. Even if it takes all night. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. Look at this. Look at this. Well, y'all didn't see it. Big, big old giant truck with a little bitty tiny Mexican sitting in there like that. Like he looked like he was sitting on a car seat. Like, he looked like, look, he peeled off. He looked like. He, his grandpa, his great grandpa, let him drive the truck around the corner from the house because they're visiting from out of town. He's like, "Go ahead, whip it on around the corner." What else, spirit? It says, "Pray for the highest good for all of the highest good." And um, instead of praying for the outcome of something, yes, and it says the universe, thank the universe for supporting you. And it says, um, ask the universe to surround you with good people and the desires of, of your heart. And it says, pray for the highest good for all people and not expect 
you know, just be expecting just a prayer, just praying a, pr a prayer for yourself. I rather pay for a whole multitude of people than just to pray for me, one or two people. I just rather be a, pray a big prayer. I don't even have to know y'all to pray for y'all, but I'm not going to pray no bad prayer. See, God going to take care of the wrath. God's wrath gets the people that deserve it anyway. And it says, you're not a burden. You're a blessing. You are the light. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to get off. Peace, love, and light. Never let anybody dim your light. Stay up, stay bright for the world to see and remember we're all one. God bless. Love, bae. I do.